we're nearly set to go. Clermont for the first time, or Toulon for the hat-trick. The 2015 Champions Cup final. Lopez with the first kick, Habana with the first gather. Charged down by Parra. That's picked up by Fafana, he's up against Marsui, and Fafana will win the race. The only try in the semi-final, the first try in the final. And the underdogs, Clermont, are ahead against the champions. A brilliant finish, and take by Fafana above his head. And then to kick on and accelerate with only Masso there. It came from a bit of confusion here. Look, no blockers, no one in place, everyone off their feet. Needs an easy charge down. And then that little bit of a collision on Masso just creates the extra yard on the outside. And once he gets the ball down and in his grasp, he can put the afterburners on and we all know how much pace he's got. Stunning catch, the acceleration. On fairness, you'd say Claremont deserve it. Tilly's board. This is Juan Smith. Taken by Mitchell. That wasn't the easiest. Twinkly steps from the Australian. Again, Tilly's board flings it wide. And the try will be scored by Pastoreau. And they score their first try in the final as the boss heads to the dressing rooms to deliver the half-time lecture. Oh, it's been a hard road back, but the champions are ahead for the first time. And Bastero scores a try that largely involved the muscle men. Oh, absolutely. The initial break. But then Claremont just unable to get people round the corner defensively after Mitchell made that good decision. The pick-up and then the go himself. Claremont couldn't get white shirts around the corner. It was a simple overlap, and the person you want the ball to go to first when there's an overlap puts it straight through his hands. Matt Gitto controls his feet, puts the brakes on, and then Bastero five metres out. And Habana chased his own kick, but it didn't get any further than Abendanen, who has some space to run into. Oh, Abendanen! Unbelievable score from Nick Abendelon. The vision, referee just checking there's nothing that needs a look at. It. They're both happy with it. But he just completely perplexed Ali Williams. He made the decision, he could see the turnover there coming in from Hernandez. The poor clearance, and then as he picks it up, look at how he looks into the backfield, no one home sweeping, understandably. Ali Williams has to stand still, he can't take him out. What a brilliant bit of vision and an individual score. Oh, Mitchell bursts through and he's on his own, but he showed quick feet and he's still going through Mitchell. That is a try of real quality. It's cancelled out the one scored by Abendanen. Mitchell might just have taken this final beyond the grasp of Claremont. Well, they tied in the defenders, their driving play's been good all day too long. And they tie in extra defenders, mean they don't get on the front foot. But Mitchell spots the space around the ball and just accelerates. And as the players try and come out and get their defensive heads on, it's too late, he's already passed them. They throw to the front. Look at those white shirts getting dragged in. They're all looking eyes in towards the breakdown. Do I need to go in? Look at the space that they've got around them. No one reacts. He's already passed them. And what a finish. The step, the fend, and then the outside break and acceleration around the bend and on. That is a world-class finish. I'm referee this game. Well, he's another one of those alongside Matt Gitto. And because of the new approach to overseas players, may well be back here. For the World Cup with the Wallabies in October. He's played 63 tests, so he 
passes the regulation and well, I think we've seen from that that he would offer something to a Wallaby World Cup squad. Offer something to a world team, that sort of footwork, that was a sensational try. Let's go, please, that's it, let's go. Back of the match, Ben. Oh, it's been so tight, so many players stood up. Nick Abendanon has been brilliant, but on the too long side we've had Gitto. I think Mitchell's been absolutely superb, but I'm going to go with my second row brethren, Ali Williams, in one of his last games, his last European final. What a performance. He's my Heineken man of the match. And the sports fantasy league team have done it again. And it's only 70 centimetres high, but what it represents is immeasurable.